Hi, this is Buffy, and I just wanted to get to the point that we made it to the fifth part of the five-part segment of Eating Disorder. Thank goodness we made it through it. Anyways, today, uh, today we're doing the uh, discussing about road recovery, and I'll get into that in just a minute. But I want to say uh, how excited I am that we have gotten to this part, and now we can start moving forward. Now we overcome all the obstacles that we have talked about in the last four, you know, or should I say the last near four, yeah, five parts of this segment. And if you go back and review everything and you kind of understand oh, and take those words down, that that will help you uh, to get your goal that you need to. And one of the things that that helps me if I just stay on the, on track and look forward to hitting that 10th spot on the obstacle course that I'm going to make it. And I thought, well, I want to sp uh, spread the word and start getting some new things that we can think about, re uh, think the word diet and turn it into the word lifestyle change. And then you'll feel positive that you're changing your life. You're not going on this, you know, uh, discouraging, you know, whatever you call that uh, diet. And so you don't feel down that you're not getting there. So I decided to call it lifestyle change. Eat healthy if you can, you know, when you can, you know, eat, you know, at the right sensible size of the amount that you put into your food. Um, I think that you know once we get that that step down then you know that you can move forward well and then on top of that you know as you can see in the back behind me that we are discussing the uh overcome your action and don't fall back basically this over here is overcoming it's like it, if you see all this because it looks like it's chopped up a little bit if you notice in back back in my other segment part that i've talked about what this means is that it's not you feel incomplete and you don't have it all together and you're kind of like you're, you're taking one step you know up higher you take a next step up higher and you're gonna reach up finally to the top and it takes a while it's like it takes a while to step up uh, to the top of the stairs well once you get overcome this whole thing then you got your support system your family and friends and therapists and your doctor whoever is going to help you through this and social networking um, the social, uh, the support will get th you through this and start making it whole. That whole means so that you have actually overcome each of these little squares and cover them up and you know that you've given yourself that kind of like a star I talked about in the fourth part. Once you get the, uh, the stars in there, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Then you're doing something good for yourself. Take that negative away. Throw it in the trash. Don't think about it. Get rid of it. Yeah, you, know, you got your therapy. You got all kinds of therapy. I'll get into that at the end. You know, and then once you hit that, and you kind of go, okay, recover your action. Stay on track. Once you stay on track, think of that that marathon that you're getting ready to run for, like some Olympics, and you want to get there, and you want to reach for the gold medal. Once you get to that, and you know that you're feeling so excited and you achieved. Everything, you got that gold medal in your hand, you ran that marathon or whatever, you swim your heart out. That way, you know you're taking your uh, your action, changing it up. Same thing with eating disorder. You're getting over that eating disorder. You know, uh, light eaters, heavy eaters, you know, anorexic, bulimia, all that stuff. Once you get over those, then you know that you've gotten to your, to your goals. Like I talked in the fourth part. You know, you got one... Um, Thing for your uh, goals and you got the other one to talk uh, one say one nice thing about yourself once you get through those t uh, those negative things I guarantee you the positive will start to shine and you're gonna have you're gonna uh, smile so much and your face it's gonna it practically stay glued smiling and there's gonna be a sunshine invisible over your head every day because you feel that positive you don't feel depressed, you don't feel um, any of those negative things, you don't feel stressed, you don't feel, you know, any anything that brings you down. Once you feel that way, 
But you get to the point, why can I not move faster? What can I do to move myself over here? Positive. Then I go overcome. Think about it. If you know what, write yourself a video, a, a video, do like what I do, or write it down. Um, talk about it. Do a little blogging uh, on social networking, Facebook, and whatever you use. And once you start writing that stuff out, then you understand. Oh, I realize what I do, what I'm doing. Now that I realize what I'm doing. All these little blocks will start uh, coloring in and knowing that I am going to overcome every one of those steps. And then it's going to be complete and full. And I know I'm safe and secured within myself. Once you say positive within yourself, then you know that your friends and family, whoever you're trying uh, you meet, you know, out in the store, going to ask you what are you doing that you're doing so right I mean how how come you look so good and when you do that and people are going to start seeing that aura that excitement or that you give yourself that oh I'm gonna be positive then this things gonna change around so and then uh, like I said about the therapy and all kinds you know you got meditation hypnosis you got you know uh, Chiraka you know you got all these uh, you know the therapist that you go see or a doctor you, you stay in touch with you got all these therapies that kind of helps you through everything and once you get through them um you know you know uh, i say that you know get on youtube and get all these videos that, you know like i'm doing to put myself out there to help you guys they have wonderful resource of everything that helps you out go to the search engine learn about what does it mean about eating disorder Realize yourself that I'm not going to be this negative, holy, you know, chopped up person and be over here, this full, complete person. Once I get, you know, once you get over these things and you learn about yourself, you know, like if you write it, write it down, then you know that you got over every single negative, you know, it could be your family, it could be your, you know, someone has died in the family or whatever you know, happens uh, that kind of makes you feel down, well, turn around. Give yourself the positive feeling that will get you through to feel full and complete. You know, I like to you know, express, I mean, all these therapies, you know, are so helpful. I mean, meditation or therapy uh, or hypnosis that you hear on YouTube Listen to them, and then that will help you re-change your brain. It will kind of send that negative out and then put your uh, positive into your head. And then once you get over those, and then you go, oh, I can just jump up and then do 10 gym, jumpy jacks, and I'm, I'm going to do better. And once you get through that, and you feel like, oh, I'm going to have a great day. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get to my goals. Don't let your goals uh, uh, get in the way of your uh, negative. When you talk down to yourself, your goals and your dreams, it's the same thing about food. When you discuss about your how much you're eating or you're having that anorexic issue, what you do is um, you get over that, and then you you're kind of, it's kind of like the same thing with dreams. You know, you're looking forward to have a you know, new house or new car at the end of the year, whatever you want to choose that you have that goal for. Basically, when you take that negative, same thing with eating, and turn around and say that I'm going to get there. Why should I punish myself or taking other people's blame for your own action? When you get over those things, don't take your uh, family's uh, action, uh, you know, blame or guilt or whatever they've done. And... And make it uh, be harder on yourself. I am guilty of that. I know I do that myself. And now I'm talking about it. And I'm going to go from here to there. So I can get through <laughs> everything. And then once I get through all of that, it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to it. What's going to happen? 
in the next few years. I mean, I, you know, I've got goals I want to do. I've got things to do. I've got a dream to, I, I need to go for. Well, I'm going to take this negative and go to the positive and forget everything. Put it into trash. Don't worry about it. It's like on a computer that you're going to discuss about. You know, you just throw it in the trash. You may clear it out later. You know, just clear it out. Clear your mind that you're going to do your best and be the best. On top of it, and give yourself that love. You know, hug yourself in the mirror, saying that I am going to love myself for me. I care about myself. I care how I feel. I care what I think and what I should expect myself to be. Not other people should think that you should be. And then when you get over those things, you discuss about that stuff. Talk about that. Say that to yourself in the mirror. Look at your mirror and you say, oh, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to say, okay, what's bothering to me? You know, why am I crying today? Why am I feeling like this? No, mm -mm. Your, your, your own self is talking to yourself, <laughs> saying that get your act together and overcome your issues and move forward. And that's what I'm trying to explain. So I just want to explain everything and... Um, and then I'm going to have a uh, the last part video that will kind of uh, coordinate with the fifth part of the segment. And it's going to be overview of the eating dis disorder. I decided maybe I should get that last little bit of, you know, last minute words I want to say to you all. That I may forget the first five. And I just wanted to make sure that I can help you guys out. We're all learning. You know, we're not perfect out there. And once we kind of overcome everything, this yeah, and it goes to recovery, you know, and basically, and it, you know the word reco recover, well, use that word lifestyle change. Why don't you take that word out and say, I'm going to have a lifestyle change of a new action. I'm going to do better. I'm going to show people that I'm going to shine better, and then they're going to follow you. And then when you get to that stage, I'm going to be the best. So... I decided I'm going to do one more um, twist of the video that I'm going to discuss for the fifth part. And that will discuss about a little bit about things. And I'll discuss um, my next uh, segment I'm going to be working on after I get this all completed. Don't worry. If you cannot read these things, go up. Uh, I'm going to get a PowerPoint presentation. And then uh, I'll have a video version of it so you can see it. And that way you can see these things a little bit more closer. And you can kind of see it because sometimes you can't get the full view of it behind me because I'm talking to you more and so that way don't discourage discourage about that because I will make sure I get you guys covered on everything you got your video and you got your PowerPoint and you know where uh, you can hit like you can subscribe you can say that comments great I you know I like this whatever anything that you do it, it touches my heart because that overcomes my my issues that I've gotten through in my life, and I am not going to go through any more eating disorder issue. No, regardless, I'm going to make it through. I'm going to get over all the obstacles. Uh, yeah, obstacle. <laughs> um, once I get over that, I'm going to get to that 10th obstacle course, and I'm going to get to all the way through from beginning to the end, and one day I can do it. Same thing in a marathon. You know, use that in your mind. Change that into your mind. Put that in your head going, okay, I'm going to get there. All this stuff is going to color. I'm going to get there. So, being positive, changing yourself, have your support system. Your loved ones will tell you, you know, you're doing great. Once they start commending your work and being proud, they use the word, I, I'm proud of you. I, you know, I love you so much and everlasting. Everything that they say to you, will make you feel that you want to be the best. And then you do that, then they're going to uh, want to know what your secret is. Why are you, you know, getting through all this stuff? <laughs> and I hope I did my best to um, describe about uh, everything um, in my discussion of five part to get some insight and hopefully you can wake up on some, oh, I need that point of view. Once you get the p uh, point of view set in your mind, and always remember to use the word lifestyle change. Take that, uh, take that word diet out, and then you will have a successful 
you know, uh, change your, uh, the way you eat, the way you feel, the way you, uh, you know, the way your body's going to look. And then everything's going to look good before you know it. You, uh, you know, you've done your best. And the more that you can do to say, I love to you, my, to yourself, then your body and your brain will follow. And I hope that everything that I discuss will kind of give you a better insight. And I am so thankful that you guys made it through to the fifth part. And as much as I love doing this, I thought I did my best to hopefully I could teach you guys a little bit. Now, um, and I do all this based on my life experience. And, you know, I was feeling down and depressed last week. I thought, oh, I need to get up and do something. And then uh, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do this. Get on the camera, start talking to you guys, and hopefully you will start to think, oh, great idea. And uh, anyways, my name is Buffy again, as you can see right there. <laughs> and and I'm thankful that everybody has touched um, these uh, films that you've seen, and it, it touches my heart that I can get out there and start telling you guys, change your attitude, better life, and you can do it. Don't let anybody get in your way. Don't let people get uh, turn you down for any reason because you will get through it. And then, I hope I did my best to is show you everything. And then, again, thank you. And have a great day. And watch these things over and over again if you feel down. And just... You know, kind of get that you know reviewing of your uh, of your mind and say, "I'm going to get through this." So, have a good day. Thank you.